Hello, Jeff and I. We're getting ready to do a love reading for you. Hope you're having a good new year. My name is Donna. This is my channel. And I am asking for suggestions in the comments about what kinds of readings or specific reading that you'd like to have or that you would like to watch here on the channel, as well as where you're watching the video from. I'm broadcasting from Chicago. Gemini, your overall, vi your overall feeling in this relationship is a knight of swords that's gemini energy here you are in your reading you know you have you're getting a lot of clarity about what you want in life i'm getting that you know in this energy you're you're sweeping the clouds back you're clearing the path for your future you understand that you've been living under a cloudy environment for a long time. You want to fly off somewhere, quite literally. You want to go have an adventure. You want to enjoy yourself. Gemini, it's not like you to stay still for very long. What else do we have? We have Ten of Swords. So you feel as though there's been some sort of betrayal in your life. I do read this as a love reading, but it can be any relationship, and energies can be vice versa. Ten of Swords, somebody has just absolutely needled you to the point that you are completely over the relationship. We have the energy of the Seven of Cups, Gemini. You are wishing upon a star. You are sort of demanding for yourself a good outcome. This is Scorpio energy that's death and rebirth. You're really looking on the inside, seeing where the magic is in your life, calculating exactly what you're going to do about this feeling of defeat. But you're over it. You're done. It's done. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy coming in is the King of Wands. And that is a feminine version of the King of Wands. It is, um, it's not, it's not the Queen of Wands. It's still a very masculine energy of taking your power back is how I see it. Over the feminine domain, over your happiness, over your emotions, really taking charge again. You know, you have a smoldering heat that's coming off of this wand. You have a very passionate engagement and desire to engage passionately in life itself. So the energy that you're bringing in is it's just no nonsense, wishing for the star, going forward with your life, finding your passion, finding your joy, finding the heat. And anybody who's along for the ride, great. If somebody's not along, you know, you're really okay with it. You're really striking out on your own right now. So let's see what the energy is for a person that you've come to the reading to ask about. We have the Nine of Cups. Well, their feeling about you is that you are a happy place. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You virtually, with this Pisces energy, embody the energy of someone that sees you as their wish fulfillment. They feel as though you embody the joyfulness, the happiness, the, the intuitiveness, that sort of smoke and mirrors kind of glamour that you have, Gemini. The Four of Wands, they want a foundation with you. This is, you can see a man and woman dancing on top of a house. And in the Rider Waite deck, this is a bride and groom dancing at their, at their uh, party, you know, at their wedding reception. We see all of these party lights. You know, your person sees you as very foundational in their life. It's, uh, it's, it's a card of commitment of building a future with somebody, building a foundation, buying a home, getting married, but creating a very, a, a basically a structure for the future. Four of Wands, it's also known as the 1111 card. It's Twin Flame. We also have your person sees you as their empress. What a difference in the way both of you are coming into this reading. I feel as though your person, because they see you as this wish fulfillment, what they want with you is amazing, but you're not really in harmony with where they're at. You're in a totally different energy than they are. So let's look at the clarifiers here and see what is happening for you. Let's see, why do we have the King of Wands energy? Why are you in this very fiery pursuit of almost like a, a new life? It almost looks like you want to rebuild your sense of joy, happiness, and passion. You're, you're worn out. You're tired. Um, 
you know, it just looks as though you've had a bit of a bad run here with people in general with that Ten of Swords, just feeling like, really, does anybody else have to really be sort of more difficult or challenging? What have I done to them? So you're in this desire for romance in your life in a more general sense. Travel, exotic places, you know, really going back to an old version of yourself in which you found more happiness. Well, I like this reversal. We're getting the Four of Cups reversed. You've been involved in dealing with very toxic people and you're not having it. You're just saying, get shoo shoo rat, get out of here. I'm dumping out all of those spent emotions that I wasted on people, places, things, projects, whatever, that really do not serve me. So I almost feel like you're not in relationship mode, you're in happiness mode. You're seeking to get your personal happiness. You're seeking to find your path back to who you really are with that energy. You're clearing the air for yourself. You're you're pushing away the clouds. And you know, Gemini, you're the messenger. Uh, you know, you're here, you're flying on this feather. So I do think that some of you are going to travel this year. I'm a Gemini. I was a professional flight attendant, so I was flying all. The, I flew all around the world, hence my desire to know where you're watching the video from, because I do want to travel and, and possibly meet with some of my viewers. That's my dream, and so I'm going to put it right out there for the world to hear. So let's see what we have here for the uh, Knight of Swords. Okay, so let's see what do we have. Justice, you need balance. That is Libra energy, fellow air sign energy. That is virtually your fifth house of romance. That is a house that says that if somebody, you like people who are very different from yourself, you feel like it gives you balance. You, and now we have Aquarius energy. So you have a trifecta, what's known in astrology as a grand trine of energy, that this is going to be the energy that brings you back into this sense of sense of wonder, sense of happiness, healing old wounds, justice card. You're going to let people who hurt you just get their own karma. You're just not going to be a part of it. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is coming out. The justice card is also the initiation of paperwork for partnerships, whether it be marriage, whether it be business partnerships, or contracting with a lawyer, a doctor, somebody who can give you very sound advice. But you are on the path to great happiness, dreams coming true. The Ten of Swords energy, why is that Ten of Swords here? The High Priestess, okay. You're intuitively being led to just absolutely let go of people that you never imagined would really hurt you, but they did so with some deliberate effort. And so intuitively, you've gone silent. We see you in the energy of, you know, you feel sad, you're looking down. I think intuitively you knew this person was capable of it or the people that you're dealing with were capable of it. The High Priestess is Cancerian energy. That's you nurturing yourself, going inside, going to your spiritual core with this healing in the star card. The High Priestess is someone with great wisdom. It's an, a very leadership, feminine leadership energy. And so while you're over here in this king of wands feminine energy it's pairing fire and water so there's been a lot of fog right fire and water makes fog and so we see you clearing the air for yourself tell us something else about this energy the father of swords now we have aquarius energy so we have gemini and aquarius once again you have clarity you have strength when you look at this owl this is the energy you are embodying you are no nonsense this owl looks like they're mad and you feel pretty i mean you, your reaction to getting sort of stabbed like this is really don't mess with me you are messing with the wrong person and so the energy that you're bringing in is a very detached very aloof and i think for most of you this is a friend because aquarius energy is the 11th house of friendship and associations so i think jumping into the middle of what is a love reading is this friendship that you've had that is now just bit in the dust 
um, we also see now going forward, you are focusing on new love, loving people who can return that love. When we get the High Priestess Cancerian energy, the Ace of Cups, you're very much wanting to be in your emotions. We have the Seven of Cups, which is Scorpio energy. You want a new beginning. You have a lot of options. You know, you have a lot of options, Gemini, and we see you with this with this wand here. You have the sense of magic and wonder in your life. You have so you have at least seven brilliant friends that shine so brightly in your life. And I can name all seven of mine right off the top of my head. And I've spent time with them recently as a Gemini. It's very rejuvenating. And that's what I think you're doing. You're really taking care of yourself. Page of Cups, the wonder of small small tokens of love it's it's the energy of the page really being very innocent very open to love open to the right people so we see you in this state of readiness but also a state of throwing out that which has absolutely crushed your spirit just cutting someone out absolutely the end the end it's over they're never going to win their way back into your heart now again the way i'm seeing this this is um more than one relationship because you're looking at friendships you're looking at all your relationships um, but we see your person is laser focused on you, Gemini. They are simply very focused on you. So let's see what we have here. Why do they see you as their happiness and their joy? What is that? Well, why is this energy? They want to introduce you to all their friends. The death card. Okay. So one of the people that has made you step back is your love interest. I feel like they're totally unaware, but the death card says that you are not interacting with them. You are going silent and they feel the energy with that death card because when we look at the Seven of Cups, that Scorpio energy, they know you have options and they're at this point of beginning to think with that Scorpio energy that maybe they didn't invest enough in you that they have to invest in you or else you are going to be one of the people that they cut out and they certainly do not want that i mean after all you are their wish fulfillment so we see this four of swords energy coming into the future the readings that i do are much more of a predictive nature if it doesn't resonate right now it can happen most likely over the next month in this particular reading i would say it could take up to three months, three weeks, three days, three three days, three weeks, three months. I should say it that way. Um, so that's when we look at this card. We look at the way it will unfold and when it will unfold. The Daughter of Wands is Page of Wands. Your person wants to throw caution to the winds. They want to make an approach. They want to stabilize this relationship with you. They're very afraid that it's over and you haven't told them. And I think that's exactly what happened. So you're feeling, though, that you're having a thorny time of a lot of, with a, a, a few toxic people in your life. So why does this person want this Four of Wands with you? The Three of Wands. Well, you are their person. You are the ship that has arrived in the harbor. You, they don't see any other options that they actually want. They chose you. I don't think they told you, though. I don't think that they have made this obvious. I feel as though that it's something they thought was unfolding and now they are worried that it's taking a turn to the negative. The Daughter of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, they've only made you small offers. I mean, they really have not given you what you needed. The whole time they were feeling all of this immense gratitude for having you in their life. They just, they weren't talking to you enough. They weren't showing you enough. They weren't doing much. Those pages are, you know, when you're starting to talk about a love that's this deep, you need emperor energy. You need kingly energy. And I'm getting your person really coming up short. They're taking you for granted in that they think that the relationship is far more star stable than it is. Why do we have the Empress? Three of Cups. Okay. So your feeling is that they put you in the friend zone. Honestly, you know, they do feel like you are their best friend. We have two threes here. That's a trinity. Your person feels very blessed to have you in their life. 
the three of cups is also cancerian energy so you have a you know this is so phenomenal because they see you as the empress they see you as the embodiment of love of kindness of generosity but beauty passion everything that feels good in life and and the icing on the cake here is that they feel as though you're you know one of their best friends that they you have a, a very sweet relationship what else do we have for your person gemini we have the emperor okay so here we go oh excuse me this was the okay so this was the empress and the empress i'm sorry the empress card here is the card of you know the empress with the three of cups and then we have the clarifier is also the empress so the three of cups says that they have put you or your feeling has been that you've been in the friend zone with them let's see what we have uh before now we're going to go to the outcome and we're going to detail the dichotomy between what's happening with you and what's happening with them this is sort of a you versus them reading but we're going to go deeply into what's going on with them what you don't see behind the scenes and so those will be um, uh, those messages will be in the extended the more pronounced uh, sort of deep dive but let's see what spirit is telling you about this relationship we're seeing here that winter water spirit manifesting your dreams oh my gosh what did i say you're over here basically trying to get to back to the life that you once had that you feel has slipped away into this oblivion and i i feel like the world events have affected you but you are in this fantastic energy right now being back manifesting what makes you happy clearing the air clearing the path for you to go forward the energy of being flexible you know you are very much you feel like you have a guardian angel but you know, Gemini, you're an angel to many other people. We have these wings, sort of this fairy energy here, willow spirit. You're very willing to sort of blow with the wind, to take things the way they come. And oh my gosh, rainbow waterfall. This is miracles. Look at this rainbow coming through for you. And just by stepping forward and taking care of yourself, this energy is coming about. So we're going to take a look at your outcome. And when we look at your outcome, we'll see what's coming up for you in this relationship that you're dealing with. And, you know, but right now I see you more concerned about your relationship with yourself. So let's look at this and see what's going on here. So the outcome between Gemini and their person, short term, wrong deck. <laughs> I have the clarifier deck. Okay. Okay. So what do we have here for your outcome card, Gemini? Gemini, what is the outcome of? This is short-term outcome because, you know, relationships ebb and flow. Even the ocean goes to low tide. We have to accept that. The star card, beautiful. Star card, star card. So your relationship with yourself, you know, you're healing and you're not allowing anyone to sort of circumvent your happiness. But your person also sees you as a star. As your outcome, there's a lot of healing going on right now, first of all, with you. And secondly, they're coming into this healing energy also because it's, it's outcome energy. We see five of cups. It looks like you receive an apology. Uh, I'm getting a very heartfelt apology for someone who recognizes that you're the empress and they treated you. I think they almost treated you like a friend with benefits, you know. I'm getting the feeling that they probably did and that's not going to fly with you, Gemini the hanged man not really taking action being as in a state of suspension looking at things from a different viewpoint let's pull one more card the sun card okay i like this so gemini the sun is the happiest card in the deck when we get the sun card and the star card you're really manifesting an incredible time in your life when you will be very happy in relationship it does look like this person wants to be a part of your life in fact i think that they feel ejected like you know an ejection seat out of a cockpit of an airplane flying 
And what I'm getting here is that they're in this sort of stasis or feeling like they're not quite sure where to go with this, what to do with it. I don't think you're dealing with somebody. There may be an age difference here with the pages. You may be dealing with somebody who's either younger than you or has a different set of life experiences and they're much more naive than you are. So you've got the star and the sun bookending your outcome. You have this beautiful energy that things are going to work out for you in love, whether you include this person or not. Now, with the sun and the star card, you both embody this energy of wanting it to work. But while you are creating magic in your life, your person is doing a very personal review. You've already done this review. It's what's going on over here. You're like, you know what? This isn't for me. I don't want to be sort of shuttled around or not recognized, you know, in a more mature way. You're feeling like you, they do recognize that you're an empress. That's def, That's part of this reading. Um, this person doesn't have the same sort of life experience you do. They're not as sophisticated or knowledgeable as you as how it appears. Um, but the sun card says that they very much want this energy. So I'm going to go to the extended and go in depth. I'm going to look at and clarify. We're going to look at your person. They look like they're devastated right now. They're feeling very much this pain. Uh, that they were not doing the right thing and they definitely want you. So I'm going to leave it here for now. If you would like to follow me to the extended, I will uh, expound upon the energies, how you got to this place, your path out, what your person thinks, feels, intends, and their actions towards you, as well as what they like best about you. So I'm going to leave it there for now, Gemini. Thanks.